So Didsbury Mosque, which is a former church, by the way, is where the Manchester Arena bomber actually attended. And as we all know, Tommy Robinson recently exposed their past speakers. Abu Ghattada spoke at Didsbury Mosque. Abdullah Quick is another radical cleric who speaks at the Didsbury Mosque. In his sermons, he said it was Islamically lawful to kill the wives and children of apostates who have rejected Islam. But it's not just extremist speakers that they've been hosting. It's just come out that they've also been distributing anti-Western propaganda leaflets. On BBC Question Time, Paul O'Donoghue exposed this extremist material. Modesty, shame and honour have no place in Western civilization. That is direct <clears throat> from Didsbury Moss. The BBC later went to interview him, but strangely, they refused to air the footage. What could he have possibly said? Well, I sat down with him to find out exactly what it was. This was the leaflet, the much vaunted leaflet that appeared on, on Question Time. It comes from the Islamic Dawa Centre International, and I've done some research on them. Um, they claim to be uh, the biggest educational uh, distributor of Islamic educational material, Dawa, in Britain. Uh, they claim uh, they've sent out 650,000 leaflets in total. This is the first paragraph in this leaflet, and this is the paragraph. Living in a society in which people have accepted Western lifestyle as their way of life brings immorality at every step. Modesty, shame and honour have no place in the Western civilization. That is attacking my society, your society, every colour and creed in this country that is attacking. And a lot of the quotes are taken from preachers who write books. We found a really, really interesting book and we found it at the time in the children's section of all things and it's called The Music Made Me Do It and it's all based on how evil Western popular music is, the dangers of Western popular music. Now what happened on that Monday in Manchester was that a young Muslim man decides that he will attack our core Western values. Why is nobody doing anything about it? Why is Andy Burnham, the mayor of Manchester, not investigating these people? Why are we not investigating? How big is the distribution? Who are they sending this to? How many mosques is this going to? Even if all these were fantastic, that one thing about Western civilization, it is absolutely disgusting. Now we are starting a campaign, a campaign to close this place of anti-Christian, anti-Western hate down once and for all. If this was a school, it'd be closed. If it was a business, it would be closed. If it was a church, you guessed it, it would be closed. But because it's a mosque, it's allowed to leave its doors wide open to radicalize a whole new generation. We've had enough and we're starting a petition. A petition to close it down. And when that reaches enough signatures, I will personally deliver it to the council and begin the process. Because our petitions are working and they're making a difference. So what you can do is you can share the link below because the more signatures we get, the more pressure that we can put on the government to shut it down. Head to closeddidsburymosque.com for watching. If you like that and you want to see more, then click like and subscribe.